Well, didn't sell 30,000. Not even 10,000. Guess I'm keeping it real. <laughs> Yo, we're not in Paris. <laughs> Still in Brittany. Are you shitting me? <laughs> That's right. So, uh, yeah. Camper, Q Town. What to do now? So, here to uncelebrate 3,000 fucking subscribers, you know. Sorry, I didn't mean, but, you know, not trying to devaluate anyone that's uh, subscribed to my channel. Honestly, I'm talking to you, looking you right in the eyes. Thank you so, so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some of the comments and feedback and stuff has been really, really, you know, helpful and, you know, really touching as well. And, uh, yeah, you guys are fucking awesome. You rock. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. From the bottom of the heart, man. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> uh, yeah. Language blockages, you know. Where's that neutral language? Anyways, just kidding. <laughs> Anyone, you know. Fuck. I got nothing against any community or whatever, you know. It's just, you know, sometimes there's certain agendas that push things, you know, a little unnecessarily too much. You know what I mean. So yeah, throughout this whole time, nine years now, YouTubing, wow. After nine years, only 3,000 subscribers, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, there's plenty of channels that, you know, they'll drop a, a video or whatever, and they'll make that many subscribers in like one day, and you know, like, you know, and 10 times as many views. So yeah, I'm not tooting any kind of fucking horn on, on my end, you know? I know, just keeping it real, you know? <laughs> And apparently keeping it real doesn't really make you all that popular sometimes. Really depends, I don't know. Um, but yeah, ain't made a freaking dime doing this. This is all on my free time. <clears throat> it's always been a spectacular outlet for me to, yeah. I mean, I didn't start making music until I was really awake and like, wow, there's some, <laughs> some deep real shit going on that I can't even put into words myself so I hear these you know these tracks that I've had you know a lot of them throughout my whole life well you know at least since I was a teenager I'm 37 right now so do the math but uh yeah <laughs> where would we be without music right that's why I do what I do and kind of stuck to to it even though I should be doing bigger and better things you know say levy it is what it is uh, yeah. I had to go through some bullshit just to, you know, stay afloat in this YouTube game and this and that. And, yeah, keeping it real. Not, I mean, I, yeah, I'm keeping it more like hip-hop. I'm not some freaking YouTuber saying, like, like, click, subscribe, smash that like button and subscribe. And, I'll, you know, not to make fun of anyone that does that, you know, because I do realize it helps out with the algorithms a lot, you know. But I mean, come on, dude, it gets so fucking redundant and you sound like a bitch sometimes when you're like, you, you say it like three times in the video. It's like, dude, come on, chill the fuck out. We have that little logo on, you know, every five minutes, dude, chill. Distractions, you got your bells and whistles, you know, good for you. Anyways, you're doing your thing, I'm doing mine, and uh, yeah, we'll just be doing fine. As long as we're aligned towards freedom, natural law, and all that good stuff. Moralité, on the way, yeah, so anyways. So yeah, uh, <laughs> as I've mentioned in years past and recently, uh, there's 25 videos that have been uh, deleted. Not all of them. Um, I kept some up just in case because sometimes I'll get a, a video that's, you know, blocked by copyright. But then miraculously, you know, uh, a couple of months or even a year later, if I haven't deleted it yet, it'll go back online like it's viewable to the public excuse me but even you know at that time it's like people kind of forgot about it or whatever but uh yeah I mean <clears throat> it doesn't matter if people forget or overlook these things or, or whatnot and this is for everyone out there that's kind of feeling the same we're all in the same boat you know getting you know paltry viewership we put in tons of fucking work and heart and, all, and effort and time and all that you know what I mean and yeah, it sucks that we only get not even, you get a handful of views and this and that. And if you go on the analytics, you know, what's the average view duration rate, you know? 
not a good idea to lie to ourselves and, you know, digitally pat ourselves on the back when in actuality, uh, yeah, sometimes the number of uh, views doesn't reflect on, you know, the impact uh, you've had on the viewers, I guess, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, and <laughs> same with the sub subscribers. Have you guys noticed there's like these, uh, like, bots, I guess, you know? Just auton autonomous robot accounts that, you know, no, I'm sure you guys have seen these, man. It, and I think they scrapped those, you know, over, you know, a couple months ago, but, uh... And I'd, it'd be like the first comment I get, you know, like, Hi, uh, would you be my friend? It's like, sure, I guess, you know? <laughs> Fuck, you know, but, uh, yeah. C'est pas méchant, as we say in uh, French. It's not, uh, it's not mean, or whatever. Mais oui, les gars, putain, des fois, il faut que je parle français. J'avance plus dans la langue si je parle avec vous qu'en anglais. Yeah, um, I kind of did start my own YouTube channel, only doing French, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> this is the thing that sucks. I wanted to start a new YouTube channel, and then you're, like, starting from scratch. You have no subscribers, you gotta kind of, I don't know, it's like you're pissing in the fucking wind sometimes, you know? Or yelling in the wind, rather. <laughs> Either or. But... Fuck, yo. Um, something's gotta give, man. Shit. I don't know. It's, I feel like I paid my fucking dues. You know what I mean? Um, put out some pretty classic uh, stuff. I, I should have advertised it more. Did more marketing or whatever. But, um... Yeah. Uh, it's not one of my strong points. You know? But, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed, uh... Yeah, to be honest, I feel like my, my channel is like shadow banned in regards to views and su subscribers and shit like that. I mean, uh, I've noticed a couple times here and there, like, and it, it'll just go on and off. So it, it really depends, but in the search engine, you know, if you type in my uh, YouTube channel name, Awaken, and then put in just Y, A, not even A, like Awaken, yeah, mind, it'll show up like the first, um, search result or automatic you know uh, predictive search results and sometimes you put in my whole name and it doesn't even show up the whole name of the and it's like <laughs> yeah and uh i'm gonna show i'm gonna cut in real quick and show you some real fucking shadow band shit on a, a video or two man this is fucked up yo what's up just wanted to let you know that this shadow banning is fucking real. Alright. Looking at this guy. Put this out. Yeah, a little over two, three years ago. Less, sorry. But you know what I mean. Doesn't fucking matter at this point. So, <laughs> it was really building up steam. First year, second year. Double this money, and then all of a fucking sudden, 10,000, we got <laughs> a little over fucking, I feel like, what, 10, 20%, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> the fuck, yo. It's making a small comeback, but dude, how, when the fuck do you see this happen, you know? When shit is not obscured with any kind of algorithmic bullshit, you know, technocratic sorcery, that kind of shit, you know. Fucking A. Shall we see another one? Which one shall we do? Uh, I was curious about this one. Yeah, things seem to really plateau. I mean, yeah, there was like the Rona that really, you know, everyone's focused on that. Um, it's a fucking snoozer, all right. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the stats. Nothing close to what those uh, booty-shaking, rompy-raking fucking... 
mumble rapper, tragic fools be making but uh Y'all know how that goes. I ain't gotta say much, but uh yeah. I'll drink to that if he, anyone thinks that's not like a a real fucking thing, you know what I mean? I drink regardless. <laughs> ah shit. Um but yeah, sometimes it's it's funny, you know, it's like you feel that pressure being a uh, having a YouTube channel and I'm, I'm honestly glad I don't have a huge, you know, following because that would have put just like a pressure on me, like whether, you know, it came from people or not, like I would just put it on myself be like, oh my God, there's so many people and they're probably waiting on the next thing, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I don't like falling into that whole... You know, you're a creator or something, but, you know, people are expecting more and more and more. Like, any hip-hop artist, whatever, I'm sure it's like, well, what have you done for me lately kind of thing. And it's like, dude, are you serious? You know, like, check the fucking catalog. There, at least on my behalf, there's over 80 mixes. <laughs> and yeah, they're there for fucking reference. Whether you view them today, tomorrow, next year, 10 years, if we're still, you know, got the internet or alive at this point, you know, who fucking knows? transhumanism is rising check out that video Sonic, seriously it's kind of you know not on the biggest uh, upper note but uh yeah it's some real shit and it's been down the pipelines for fucking over a decade but uh yeah bonjour <laughs> yeah <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed with YouTube as well but yeah the fact that my channel is not monetized and you watch it on your phone it's gonna pop up so many more ads. I've noticed them. when I watch things on YouTube on my phone, which I really do, like any channel, they'll throw in tons of fucking ads, you know what I mean? Even non-monetized channels are monet, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, um, my channel is not monetized. I mean, it, all that shit's out of my control. And even at the same time, um, for people, because you know, if I use copywritten material, the people that own the copyrights have the right to put ads on my videos because they use their shit, you know, and they're not busting my chops for and blocking the video. So I'm, I'm just glad they're not blocking the video, pretty much. And hope you're glad too. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is even probably from last year, even um, that YouTube had these new policy changes for even people that, you know, have a non monetized channel who don't put in copyrighted material on their stuff, who don't want ads on their shit, YouTube can still enforce ads on their fucking videos. I mean, what in the real fuck is that? You know what I mean? And YouTube's not giving them money off the ads they're making, you know, money they're making off of the, the ads. So what in the real fuck is that? You know what I mean? And uh, you hear the... <laughs> yeah, check out, uh, honestly, you guys are still just watching YouTube and nothing else. You're not really getting a lot of the good stuff these days. I mean, there's a brand new tube. There's also a new tube. A brand new tube is, is fucking shite, to be honest. As far as me being a content creator and trying to upload shit, yeah, some of these new platforms, they don't have the clout as far as, you know, like the... the bandwidth, whatever, to, you know, host so many videos and all these, you know, mega, gigabyte, whatever the fuck. You know, um, a lot of them put a limit of just one gigabyte, like brand new tube. I lowered it down to like, you know, 500 megabytes, way half of the, you know, limits. And I still can't upload shit on that channel. So what the fuck? What's really cool though is uh, LBRY, Odyssey, same thing, right? Uh, everything I upload on YouTube just goes directly to that channel. So that's really cool. So honestly, I would... And they, they're rocking the crypto and shit, so that's cool. BitChute, I'm really trying to get my shit on there as well. I, I've got my channel set up finally, and yeah. It, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it can take like 12 hours just to upload one of my mixes sometimes. It, you know, that waiting game is not fun, but uh, yeah. I guess you're done at the same time. Start a new one, you know, whatever's clever, but uh, yeah. Yeah, holy shit. Um, you guys want to know what my favorite mix was from last year? <laughs> uh, it's one of them, and I'm actually listening to it right now. I've been riding around on the bike. Uh, I put, put a good like 10 kilometers on the bike. Just 
Getting to know this place better, bonjour. I don't want to be. Yeah. I don't want to be on a... Why not? <laughs> Pardon. C'est privé. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, new place. New people trying to make my face be seen without the fucking mask. Yeah, I literally tell people when I'm going shopping and stuff and I go into the store not wearing a mask and like, hey, you gotta put the mask on. I'm like, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Like, we're still going along with this masquerade. I said that in French. It's the same word. And I mean, uh, masquerade is, is a French word. We say it in English, but it's uh, la masquerade. And it's not too bad. Actually, it's fucking shite. Especially for all the wrong reasons, right? Yeah. Yeah, germ theory versus terrain theory, man. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Fuck. I didn't even... Yeah, so the mix... <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite mixes from last year is... Uh, corruption, control, and something of uh, thought, or thoth. And this is going to be... That's not, not like in regards to him, but like more... Revealing uh, some of the aspects of the occult, excuse me, in, in sacred geometry that are just not really legit and not really aligned to natural law in the end. And that's the, the force that is locking our DNA into a two strand. We're not supposed to have 12. That's quite a magic number. I mean, at least 12, but uh, yeah. Apparently there's 12 root races originally in from the planet Earth. Uh, the eternal lotus of life, flower life, the real one, has 12 circles. But uh, yeah, 12 gospel. Hey, isn't it a 12 based uh, mathematics or something? Base 12 math? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the metric system has its uh, flaws and has, and has created distortions, but uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that was a really good one. I love that one because it's like... That one was really the first time that I dedicated one single speaker to a mix. And, uh, yeah, Seth Exposive. Phenomenal person. I highly re recommend going to his YouTube channel, Black Earth Productions. And, uh, um, yeah, take your time. Digest slow and uh, yeah. <laughs> see about his services one day. I know I am, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the other one, if you haven't seen uh, <clears throat> Beyond 2020 Vision, Third Eye something. It's my second, you know, Third Eye Vision uh, video hip hop mix. That one's pretty cool. Kind of talk about that as well, the whole, you know, because we're in the fallen time matrix and, you know, there is this false light, you know, false sacred geometry overlay on top of things. And that's what, this is what we're going to see when we, you know, pierce that third eye, pretty much, you know, we got to get beyond that. So anyways, and, um, <laughs> yeah, the, the other one. Um, pro I think I mentioned it in the little clip I cut into, but, um, yeah. The unmasking, the one where I finally found, showed my face to, to y'all. It got like 500 views in the first month, which is really phenomenal for my channel standards. Today, it doesn't even have 600. That's literally fucking impossible, you know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> that's the algorithmic bitch shit. You know, that's the um, shadow banning, whatever the f fuck we want to call it. It's just, it's censorship. And it's not right. It's against my rights to, you know, you know. The hell, yo. Bienvenue chez moi, les gars. It's cracking. Yeah, I just had a couple things on my mind that passed by real quick that I wanted to clarify. Um, we got some my mixes. <laughs> I cannot use a, t a ton of music that's out there. 
because of uh, a copyright material. So I'm really limited to underground hip hop type of stuff. And yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm taking risks sometimes. Uh, even underground stuff, uh, you know, they're getting snapped up by these uh, whatever, um, you know, quote unquote independent record labels, but they're tied to bigger things like Time Warner, which is fucking interesting. Um, Time Warner. They're warning you about the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because they got a good amount of projective programming with, uh, you know, what they're t tied to and all that. Lovely people, aren't they? Fucking it. <laughs> so yeah, that has uh, really hindered me. Sometimes I'll put out a mix, upload it on YouTube, and bop, blocked already. Can't, can't even uh, publish it, you know, because... Uh, yeah, some of the songs I use are, are copywritten. I want to respect that as well. But uh, funny enough, I do see, uh, and I don't know if they have acquired the license somehow, but uh, there are channels that, you know, on YouTube that have the song on their channel, but it's not blocked or, you know, whatever. But it's blocked on my mix for some reason. Um, and yeah. My channel is not monetized. I don't make a fucking dime from this shit. Straight from the heart, yo. That's what it's about. Would be nice to get money for it, but uh, fuck, I got a, another job, and yeah, money is not really. <sighs> you know, you see when you see through the illusion, this you're not attached to it or whatever. You know, I would say we need it in this fucking matrix to survive and yada yada. But hey, so yeah, I uh, gotta keep it really subterranean. With, uh, and that sucks I've had to reformulate many times many times over a lot of these mixes so uh, it, it just adds extra time and effort and yeah especially when I boom put out this project and it gets blocked it really uh, takes the wind out of your sails sometimes so yeah uh, voila And yeah, for those st still listening at this point, um, I've got some good stuff coming out. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> I had to buy a new computer because uh, the last video project I made regarding uh, transhumanism, my computer died like two, three times. It was just like an overload. I, I crammed in fucking like 50 gigabytes into that project, <laughs> at least, you know, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have uh, some new software with this new computer. A, uh, I plan to take my shit to the next level. With production and, you know, video, you know, editing and shit like that. There's obviously a learning learning curve with, with all that stuff, but, uh, say la vie. All right. Pretty nice out here. First time. You know, these mixes, they're not ultimatums, you know. It'd be cool if they were. I like to call them, yeah, truth infused music mixes, you know, musical tapestries that really tie in a lot of things going along the same concepts, uh, you know, themes, subjects, right? Yeah, I can't do any kind of ultimatum type of track, or, you know, mixtape, whatever, because I don't have the license to play all types of music that's copywritten and shit. Last three, four mixes, I've had to deal with copywritten stuff, had to upload it several times. Shit's getting old, you know. Not that big of a deal, it could be worse, but yeah, at the same time, it's just like... I could be doing videos like this, no problem, no copyright, ain't gotta worry every single fucking time I upload something and, you know, it gets taken off or blocked or kind of like uh, some guy from Holland actually let me give me a heads up uh, last week on a mix that just all of a sudden got blocked worldwide. Wasn't that way uh, two weeks ago. 
Yeah, it's the one I, uh, I just showed the, with the shadow banning shit, you know. 20,000 views. Forget about it, you know. It's all good. If it had 2 million views, I might be more pissed off, but uh, whatever. Apparently these subjects aren't that fucking popular. Even though if you type in Illuminati, conspiracy, whatever the fuck, you'll get a, a gazillion fucking results on YouTube, Facebook, or not Facebook, maybe um, Google, yeah, Google, YouTube, same fucking shit. And, uh, yeah, part of the fucking systems of censorship and bullshit. And I'm fucking sick of these motherfuckers. And y'all should be too. And we gotta be, I guess, I wouldn't say deplatforming, but yeah, check out more content on other platforms. LBRY. Brighton, whatever. Rockfin, shit like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Where do we go from here, you know? <laughs> It would be nice to get more into solutions and get back more to that soulful feeling, right? Yeah, I'm st struggling with shit with my own insides, you know, because I'm... Yeah. Day-to-day -day thing, seeing people carrying on with this fucking masquerade every single fucking day. And in France, they just extended another fucking lockdown for another fucking month, you know? Can you fucking believe this shit? Or the 13th of April, something like that. Just like last year. They're talking about the third wave and this and that. The only wave that's coming are all the fucking people getting sick from the vaccinations. There's uh, nurses that are have to be undercover about it because they can lose their jobs and this and that. They're getting sick in the hospital because of people that are vaccinated. They're you know, shedding their fucking... Whatever disease is being manifested within them through this fucking MRA bullshit, mRNA, excuse me, you know. Don't want to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about and discredit myself by my lack of speech. Because, yeah, people are looking to debunk you in any single freaking way, you know, and, and leech off of that and that only almost sometimes, you know, to prove they're, you're, you wrong almost, you know. Shit's old, and it's a logical fallacy. You concentrate on that, on that one small little fucking trivial error and discard the rest of the shit. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Or it's disqualified, you know? Fuck that. Spent too many fucking years of researching. Way outside of music. My channel is music-based, but, uh, you know, the priority comes, you know, within the core essence of my being, and what I've been able to confirm and research outside of that and within. And yeah, throwing that out there in a musical expression because, yeah, I don't have the best articulation in, in the world. And I can kind of fumble around with my words because, you know, I mix in my French with my English in my head a lot of times. And yeah, getting over that hump of <laughs> junk, but uh, yeah. C'est la vie, mon ami. I think one of the reasons why I even started doing this <laughs> because you don't really hear DJs mix comprehensive music, you know, that flows, you know, completely, you know, the whole album, you know, all killer, no filler, you know. How many DJs do that? How many DJs do you know? I'm, I'm really curious, by the way. And uh, it's just weird that, you know, I, I, I've gotten incredible feedback from even off of YouTube and things like that. Like, wow, Derek, I've never heard anything like this, you know? And it's like, That's cool. Like, why do I ha have, you know, only 3,000, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> why isn't there more people, like, you know, checking this shit out? Is my question, but, uh, yeah. I noticed, uh, I mean, one of my favorite DJs of all time, DJ Drez, 
he's the closest one that does shit like I do. And, um, yeah, I realized that, you know, he wasn't really putting out much more. And, um, like, man, who's going to pick up the mantle? It ain't going to be me, but uh, I'm going to do what the fuck I can do. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to bite anyone's style, especially not his or, uh, like, uh, Mark Farina with the Mushroom Jazz and shit like that, you know? I love that mushroom jazz shit, you know, that, that really inspired me a lot, a lot, a lot. And, yeah, got me more back into the whole jazz roots and stuff. I did take a, a jazz class in junior college, actually, before going to university. And, uh, yeah, that was, the <laughs> throughout the whole, that whole semester, that was my favorite class, and that was, like, the only A I got, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> the best grade, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah. So straight up, I'm I'm curious as to who out there has heard any other DJ kind of like me. You know, I'm not trying to be like the best. I want there to be more. It's fucking a frightening feeling to feel like I'm the only one doing this shit. You know. <laughs> oh, la, la. I just wanted to make a couple things clear. The dogs do too. These guys are funny. Sorry for the noise, I am kind of right by the beach. In a place called Leos La Ciota, which is kind of far out of reach for most of y'all, but I ain't trying to preach and all that shit, but uh, hey. I just want to let y'all know and make this very visually clear of the type of work and dedication I put into. The past, uh, I've been living out here since... Uh, Late 2014. And today is January 16th, 2021. Pretty much lived here uh, the majority of the time since, you know, that time. Last year was a bit complicated uh, since uh, my ex-wife uh, left me, but uh, that's another story. Hey, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Made some new friends, so a little noisy, but hey. So, basically, all I'm trying to say is that I could have been out here all day, kind of everyday type of thing. I lived literally one minute walking uh, to the beach, a little that way, but uh, hey. <laughs> All that just to make a bunch of videos to try to inspire and wake people up, you know? And also just learning tons and tons of information and, you know, saving videos, making videos, and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and what is that accumulated to exactly, you know? Not even, you know, 3,000 subscribers to my, you know, YouTube channel, Awaken Your Mind. It is what it is, you know, I'm not judging my efforts by, you know, that kind of, you know, parameters, but it does give a good indication, you know, let's, let's kind of be real with shit, you know, but, uh, yeah. Who out of the people you know, including yourself, actually fucking, you know, sacrifices their all, all their free time, basically, uh, staying inside in front of a fucking computer screen, Trying to put in the goddamn fucking work, day in, day out, night and day. Getting lack of sleep and shit like that. Missing out on beautiful sceneries like this, fresh ass air and shit like that. But no, I'm really, and it's not like I'm obsessed or, you know, consumed by this shit. No, I, I feel driven for, uh, by a force that is deep within the core essence of my being. Knowing what I know and wa wanting to learn more and refine all that stuff so I can actually come up to camera like I am right now and fucking speak that shit with conviction, you know? I'm not doing this to fucking hear my own voice, you know? I don't, didn't even really care for my own voice uh, for, for a long time, but uh, the time has come for me to just, you know, let it all out, you know? No holds barred, no hesitation, let's get this shit moving, you know? So... Voila. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you know, I'm not, you know, 
trying to make anyone feel guilty or anything like that. I'm just letting you know that what I've done <laughs> over the years is just uh, incredible. And I'm leaving this place in one week and I miss it dearly. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's sad that uh, I didn't spend more time outside like this and enjoying the nature, you know? I wanna be more in touch with nature. You know, but uh, yeah, digital detoxes are always good, and uh, negative ions, being around the ocean, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah. What's up? This is La Mediterranee, La Ciotat. Where am I? I mean, really. Uh, pretty high up there. Uh, right down there. 21st of uh, December. I was up in here. This is the coastal cliff of France, La Ciotat, the Mediterranean Sea. Sorry for the wind, it's a little windy, but uh, yeah. I'm more or less saying goodbye to this lovely place and uh, just want to let you know that, yeah, I was out here during the conjunction 21st of uh, December 2020, out there after this motherfucking dumbass uh, couvre-feu, as I said in France, you know, the, the curfew hour for the, because the, the Rona is going to run rampant after fucking, you know, 10 o'clock or 6 o'clock or whatever fucking clock the, the government wants to tick to, you know, <clears throat> and make the public stick to and become a fucking, you know, it's like we're all in uh, elementary school again. Yes, mommy, daddy, we'll be back home before a certain hour. Give me a fucking break, all right? But no, I was out here. I didn't even know because I don't really follow the news and they don't really give like a text message updates on the new laws. But anyways, the energies were really profound on the 21st of December. And I was out, I was out here trying to do the work, affirmations of uh, just, I'm. I'm done with the fucking Metatronic reversal shit, you know? I'm trying to continue the activation of my inner core essence and my DNA and all that stuff. And I'm trying to get to a place where I can do the same for others or at least encourage them and, you know, be somewhat of a way shower, you know? And, uh, yeah, I felt like I was really anchoring in certain frequencies or energies out here in the south of France. I'm here for a reason at this point in time, you know. Regardless if, you know, I'd rather be in Australia with the woman I love, uh, where we would be, you know, really putting in a lot of work together on a spiritual, metaphysical level, you know. And, uh, but yeah, it's really, comes to, it really comes down to an individual level and what you're aligned to and what excuse me, what kind of frequencies you're emitting and also receiving, you know? There's not all the frequencies out there and all these ascended masters and all that shit, you know? There's so many nets, traps, and snares that you guys gotta be careful with and use your highest caliber spiritual discernment to really figure out who is being an imposter and who's really trying to lure you into some uh, some shit that's gonna key you into them kind of, you know, loosing out your energy, pretty much. So, um, this is what I'm, <clears throat> and what I was really just evoking and trying to manifest and, uh, just create that energetic, uh, sphere around myself and just this whole environment as well. I love it out here. I'm gonna miss it. And, uh... Yeah. Oh la 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 la. 
been five years since uh, I've lived out here, and uh, to be honest, I never really came out here all that much. Uh, yeah, of course, a dozen times, a, a couple dozen times, uh, but just not that often. And it's kind of because, uh, you know, aside from work, where I was working seven days a week uh, for like a good six, seven months, pretty much. Uh, yeah, during the off time where I don't work, I'm really just in the lab, so to speak, just at home, shutting myself off from the outside world, working on self, integrating, you know, higher knowledge and frequencies and, you know, just doing the process, doing the inner work on myself and also doing a lot of the, you know, research and everything else that, you know, comes with uh, trying to expand your consciousness and awareness to the, to the full extent, you know. It's a it's an ongoing process, you know. There is no real fucking arrival point, you know. And the same goes for one's own activations and everything else, you know. <laughs> it's not like we're all gonna oh ascend to 5D and everything else. You know, people don't haven't even activated their Merkabas within them um, themselves. And even if some have, it, it's using some of the Metatronic reversal. It's not. It has distortions to it. So <clears throat> this is kind of the stuff that I was really trying to. Boom, like from here on out, like I'm really gonna be more outspoken in so many ways. And I've really felt just that inner gnosis, that inner calling within myself to really fucking come out and speak in front of the camera and not really give a shit what the fuck people think about it, including myself, you know? You, <laughs> no more, you yourself are your own uh, worst critic, right? And uh, I've been really hard on myself uh, most of my life, you know? I really didn't care about my voice all that much and uh, and things of that nature and not feeling uh, adequate or comfortable or comfortable uh, with my level of grammar and things like that and when you're in another country like I am in France and you're learning French you kind of have to uh, yeah it's a process you know so anyways uh, not to ramble on um, this has been my life uh, it, it has been dedicated to truth, dedicated towards waking people up at the same time. Yeah, uh, it's been one hell of a ride, and it's been very therapeutic for myself as well. And I've uh, been very humble and grateful that it has had a profound effect on quite a few people's lives, you know, and uh, it makes me want to continue doing that. But at the same time, I know there's higher callings for me and things I need to do more or less on the ground, uh, you know, not just in this dimension or whatnot, and <laughs> hard to explain, and I don't really have it all figured out, but it's still just, you know, things are continuously being revealed to me, and different synchronicities and all that stuff, so, <sighs> yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, I'm going to be coming back with more and more and more, more good stuff, more profound uh, insights to things, and more information and things like that. I'm really someone that cuts through a lot of the fucking bullshit and the psyops and like the new age bullshit that I myself was a victim of. Yes, I was, yeah. <laughs> and using uh, the false sacred ge geometric uh, symbols and this and that, yes, uh, uh, I got duped, you know, even at a level of where I thought, you know, I wasn't gonna get duped anymore. We all kinda, you know, there's the stages of awakening, you know, different veils, you know, layers of the onion, whatever you wanna call it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, it's a process, all right. So, uh, yeah, I just want to be encouraging for others and myself, you know. And uh, at the same time, hold myself and hold others accountable for the knowledge uh, they're presenting and the behaviors, you know, and whatever, you know. Because uh, the goal is freedom. And the only way we can have freedom is by having a really high level of uh, morals, moral standards in, in the vast majority of people on this planet, you know? So basically, yeah, that's what, that's why I'm all about natural law, which is, you know, moral law, karmic law, cause and effect, you know, all that stuff, Cos cosmic law, universal law, not the fucking new age watered down variant of the law of attraction, the secret bullshit like that, you know? They have got some good things, but obviously they need those things to hook people in, you know? 
we have to understand the techniques and the tactics that are used against us, even at the higher levels of awareness, because they run on a very higher multi-dimensional level that a lot of people really don't understand. And if you want to learn more about that, check out uh, ascensionglossary.com or .org. It's the work of Lisa Renee. I think it's R-E-N-E-E -E -E is her last name. She also has a website called Energetic Synthesis. You can also check out, uh, ah, man, I forget the guy's name, Angelic Humanity is his Instagram, and I think uh, Consciousness Awareness is, uh, or Cons Consciousness Evolution on his uh, Facebook page. And he's got dozens of videos that are spectacular. He also has over a hundred infographs that that really bring color and really highlight a lot of what's in the uh, Ascension Glossary. You can really get lost. There's so much knowledge in that. And it's not this new age channeled bullshit. No, this is actually people that have gone within themselves, their past life memories and all that stuff and really trying to figure out, <clears throat> well not figure out, but yeah, they have remembered their past life memories and tapped into Akashic Records and the CDT plates and things like that. The Emerald Order, not the fucking bullshit Thothian sect uh, Emerald Tablet Order of fucking distorted, uh, stolen uh, knowledge, which is from the CDT plate, Disc 11, which is highlighted in a lot of Sethicus Bose's information and dissertations and presentations that I would highly suggest people checking out if this interests you, which it should, all of us, you know, because it really affects everyone because it goes into the complete manipulation and cut, uh, disconnection of our DNA. We're supposed to be 12 strand human, you know, beings at least, you know, for starters. And then, uh, but, uh, fuck, we got this two strand bullshit and, uh, now the transhumanists want to throw in that third, uh, synthetic strand. Fuck all that, you know? So we got to get with the organic timelines, you know, way back since, uh, Atlantis and Atlantis and Lemuria. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we just gotta find that inner gnosis. We have to go dive deep into our own blood. We need uh, also people like uh, Sethic Esboza, who also has a Blue Flame Healing Arts and Occult Science initiation uh, packages into his, the Mystery School to really help people one on one. And uh, that's something I've been looking into and considering for a long time. It's just, you know, a matter of a. Uh, getting yourself uh, situated where you're going to make that commitment and stick to it, you know? So, uh, yeah, I suggest people look into that stuff as well and, uh, yeah, continue keeping those high vibes and uh, keeping optimistic despite all the motherfucking bullshit going on out there with the draconian uh, COVID crappery, you know? So, uh, yeah. One last shot, Mediterranean, you can't be complaining, friend, so, yeah. <laughs> I got quite a journey down below, I'm gonna have a spliff, and uh, catch you in a jiff. Take care. So yeah, in a nutshell, I've <laughs> sacrificed so much time and effort and even attention to my ex-wife, you know, to make this music, and when she left me, I literally, you know, had ideas of just leaving this YouTube channel, you know. Wouldn't that have been something? But no. Work has to go on. That kind of pain is temporary, but uh, yeah. Shall we go down there? A little cold for a swim, but uh, yeah. Got my little walking stick down this. Yeah, so. What uh, I'd like to do actually as uh, since I, I love to do these write-ups when I do uh, my mixes I don't know if, how many out there actually read the description you know if you're looking for the track list and everything that's there sorry I don't really don't do timestamps you know um, if anyone has a great way to do that whatever kind of software that's pretty easy quick to do let me know uh, but, but yeah I literally have to cut off uh, paragraphs and sentences from the description because I, you know, there's only a, a maximum amount of uh, text you could write, 
and I'm just <laughs> sometimes I can write pages about this stuff. And what I'm thinking is, because uh, already I want to have that stuff and elaborate more off of the these uh, write-ups that I do on um, a website, and kind of have the the music mix featured in that as well. But uh, I think I'm also gonna just come out here and uh, recite and uh, and read some what I have to say and feel about you know these certain. You know, topics, themes, issues, you know. Because, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot more to be said uh, outside of music. And that's why I do the music as well, because there's things they say that I can't freaking put into words, you know. And just like the melody and, and things like that, it gives you a, a more deeper, profound feeling into them as well. And I love that, you know being able to incorporate audio samples of many different people. That's why I'm inviting people to look into those, you know, researchers and presenters uh, work as well. That was kind of the main goal from the get-go. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, throwing around funny terms like a, a soundtrack to your awakening. <laughs> But yeah, uh, never been a big fan of uh, the red pill, that kind of jargon, you know, like, man, we just got to red pill the fuck out of these people, you know. I mean, it's the same thing as, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Well, you can show him as many red pills as, if you, as you like, but <laughs> you can't just shove it down them, their throat and force them to swallow it, you know. That can have a more negative reaction because they'll just kind of, you know, vomit it out <laughs> right back at you, you know. Almost like a gag reflex, right? And they'll be almost like traumatized and not want to go back to it, you know. Take that metaphorically, you know, more or less, but uh, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. How to wake people up when we're not completely to wake ourselves, right? <laughs> Because, yeah, if you haven't figured out that you are the solution, you are the savior, you are the beacon of light that needs to shine bright. You know? We're not going to do it all on our own by ourselves. We're not on a, this, you know, crusade like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it starts there first. It starts with oneself, you know? And then, I mean, if everyone just did that, Right? But, uh, yeah. Um, at the same time, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, Lawrence Wasson, he did great. I was looking at a video of his. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, being a way shower, presenting information, trying not to, I don't know be too uh, confrontational, unlike my last podcast. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to let it go. You can be so frustrated because, you know, yeah, I've sacrificed so much researching, full-time job type of work putting, being put into this stuff. I'm not some fucking tourist that, you know, skims over the videos and, you know, thinks about it, you know, a week later and this and that. No, shit is integrated pretty deeply, profoundly for quite some time and the the journey continues, you know, regardless. I don't try to stay so humble that I become complacent to, uh, in, you know, not keep pushing on further, right? Yeah, still so much to learn, so much to activate, so much to experience, right? And that's the beauty of being able to, uh, yeah, meet different people, go to different places. And why do you think uh, the lockdowns are for? I mean, there's a multitude of reasons, right? But uh, it's like they don't want us to travel anymore, almost. They don't want us to mingle anymore. They don't want us to conspire against each other. Or <laughs> amongst each other, not against each other. Shit. Trying to bridge the gaps and unite, goddammit. But yeah, just... <laughs> Making fun of the word, I mean, conspire, you know, 
Respire. I'm gonna do a whole freaking segment on this whole conspiracy theory program terminology fucking bullshit, you know. Because, you know, basically just the word con conspire just means to breathe together. That's what it means. Spire. Spiare. Respire. You know. Esprit. You know, the breath means spirit. You know, con. C-O-N. Latin means together. So, voila. Kind of like con science. Consciousness. But yeah. Keep it rolling. Monday strolling. <laughs> I got mine. I'm glad it ain't stolen. But uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, don't know if you, don't know if you noticed, but... Uh... My channel has playlists, not just stuff I've made, you know, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. And I have so much love and respect for these people and the research they've done, you know, I'm not speaking from this is my opinion or my truth and this and that, right? Go through countless amounts of hours and individuals that have been blowing the whistle who have, or who have been doing so much research and writing and reciting and <laughs> and therefore and such and such and I'm thinking about some kind of hip hop song of course <laughs> abstract rude yeah love that one you know we keep it true you got to keep it true Man, I thought you fucking knew, but yeah. My channel has probably a dozen playlists, maybe. Some are private, I think. I'm, it doesn't matter the amount. All that matters is that I have at least a, over a thousand videos saved into certain categories. Yes, we talk about food. Yes, we talk about the benefits of a plant-based diet and this and that. And if you eat meat, don't get so offended because... Uh, I'm not here to tell you how to control your life, you know. Everyone has a biological makeup that is different, and whatever works for you, works for you. I'm going to tell you straight up that my ex-wife, she had a iron deficiency, possibly because, you know, we were eating a vegetarian life uh, for, for a good while. And uh, she needed a certain type of iron that was only found in red meat, apparently. Apparently, you know, long story short, that helped her out. When she was kind of sick and she was fatigued a lot of times, and blah, blah, blah. We can't all be breatharians, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day when we connect more of our DNA, but hey, we're still stuck in some fucked up frequencies. But yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's just to say, uh, it's not just about music on this channel, you know. Truth Vibrations, it's burning hot in Cali. Not just in the forest of the alley. And yeah, I, I can, I'm from California. My state has been torched the fuck up. And I've been very cathartic about it in some of my writing. And I want to share that sometime, but uh, yeah. I'm going to lose some friends and possibly family members for saying that shit. And if that happens, so be it. Because the truth is, it has to come out. You know? Like Jesus, the real Jesus came through, who is an anarchist. And he wonders why the most the majority of his followers are statists. When the police of the day killed Jesus, the police killed Jesus, crucified him. While all the bystanders and like, oh, well, all right. Dude, he didn't die for our fucking sins, you know. He, he died because he was against the, the fraudulent financers, the dogmatic religion, and the, the government, the state. You know? 
And who protects the state? The police. That's why they call it a police state. When things aren't that great. Waiting on some kind of fucking savior. Hasn't worked in the past 2,000 years. People waiting on Jesus or whatever. This and that. And Black Federation. Q and the White Hats. What next, you know? What about yourself? You gonna save yourself? You wanna help save others? You wanna help save the world? You know? Are we actually doing this together? Are we actually unified? Is there actually actual unity in the truth community? Is that a program term? You know? What I see is a lot of people uh, we're working on fragmented consciousness. We need to really regroup and piece this fucking jigsaw puzzle of a clusterfuck <laughs> back together so we can really strike hard at the beast or whatever the, you know what I mean? So yeah. YouTube has been cool to have a platform to compile videos on the side of, you know, making my own and uploading, you know. I want to have a website, I want to have more stuff, I want to get the fuck away from YouTube because they've been fraudulent and they, they're fucking part of the tyranny with their censorship bullshit. Fuck them, you know. Honestly, if you want to listen to my music and really want to support that shit, listen to my stuff on Odyssey. Download that shit. Get an account. You can download that stuff automatically, pretty much. L B R Y. You know, it's good to listen to these things offline, so you're not online all the time. You can carry with you when you go on your travels and just go on a run or go to the gym, whatever you do. You know what I mean? It's designed for that. That's what I do. You know, I'm out skateboarding and. Riding bikes and stuff, you know? I'm on that one bike, but... <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Listen to podcasts, you know? Don't just listen to my shit, you know? My shit is a limited hangout. It's meant to whet the appetite for digging in deep. And feel free to ask me questions. Be like, yo, what, whose research should I look into, you know? I got a thousand books that I'm just dying to kind of have some kind of digital library for people to access, even though it's kind of fucked up for the people that deserve money for that. So that's why I've been hesitant on that as well. So, say la vie. Moving on up in the world. Just an altitude. So I wanted to share with you, actually, I wrote this back in July 2018. It was right when I hit the first 1,000 subscribers, you know? Wow. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> this was, uh, <laughs> pretty funny. Well, not really, actually, so. Pretty sad, to be honest. Quote. So my YouTube channel just hit 1,000 subscribers after six years of making videos as of July 2018. I'm not putting this out there to brag or stroke my ego. Rather just out of curiosity as to how many people I personally know, friends, family members, whatever, even know I have a YouTube channel or, or are even a part of that group of subscribed people. I know I don't promote my work all that often and don't wear my YouTube channel on my sleeve, but never, I never tried to hide it either. Quick few facts. I've made over 130 videos. The majority of them are conscious hip hop mixes totaling over 100 hours of good music made into tapestries regarding certain topics and themes aimed at spreading inspiration, information, and enlightenment. There are over a quarter million views spanning my material, 
although 20% of that at least is gone due to copyright as far as videos getting taken off or just blocked but yeah, the view, that viewership, a quarter mil, it's peanuts compared to those cute cat videos and whatever the fuck else, you know. Really shows where people's attention spans are at, you know. Yeah, it'll make clickbait bullshit, you know. Fuck that. Everything is made for free. My channel is not monetized. Where I'm not looking to make a whole bunch of views and subscribers for financial gain. My aim is to enlighten humanity towards greater freedom and applied understanding of natural law. And the reward for that work is the res freedom that results in people getting awake and aware to what the fuck is we're supposed to be aligned with. And what we're not supposed to be aligned with, which is all this governmental bullshit. If that sounds too extravagant, well then you've probably underestimated my level of knowledge and work without even listening and listening to anything I've produced. This goes beyond DJing and the music you might expect or are accustomed to. <laughs> the magnitude of my material will be misunderstood, underestimated, overlooked, and over the heads of many. The motivation and intention behind my work is to whet the appetite about an array of subject matter that was never really emphasized or taught about in school or mainstream television. This is music to study, not to study to. It is high lyric lyrical content charged with conviction and truth, filtered through my discernment and verified facts, broadcasting out your speakers into your eardrums. I could have gone with the podcasting route and shouted in the wind like so many others, but saw music as a unique way to get the messages across since everyone likes music, right? Which can help bridge the gaps and, and give common ground to differing or polarized viewpoints in what folks believe or know to be true and right or moral. So support your brother and check out his station sometime and you'll probably find more than just some truth in the rhymes and more to your mind when it's awake and inclined to redesign, you know, a better way to align to the divine. But yeah, anyways, it will be worth your time. It's never really been about the viewers and the subscribers and all this shit like that. What it's really just been about is for people to fucking get it. Wake the fuck up and align to truth and morality. And not this unbelievably inverted, perverted dog shit that's peddled out all over the place in the mainstream and yes, even the alt media and, and this new age fucking bullshit. Yeah, I mentioned this several times with my ex-wife, yada yada. What really shattered me as well is the fact that she didn't seem to get much inspiration from, I don't know, a whole lot of things I did or in like truth that she really understood. We, we had fundamental arguments even on the fact that there is objective truth and morality. And not everything is fucking subjective, you know. It's just, yeah, it's just unbelievable. And, yeah, uh, friends as well and just people that have heard my stuff or whatever and think they're on the fucking level. But it just doesn't seem like they're on the level. And uh, I'm just like, you know, what the fuck for sometimes? Why I do this shit, you know? I mean, people are going to guard their ego defend, uh, defended uh, opinions until the fucking death of them sometimes. And I'm not referring to anyone, my ex-wife or any friends. It's just everyone's still open to anything. But it, it just seems that 
My efforts really ain't fucking done shit sometimes to the people closest to my life, you know. Yeah, despite all the obstacles that, well, not, it hasn't really been an obstacle, just, it's very fucking demoralizing. People just really don't fucking get it. I mean, like, going beyond what the fuck people think they know, even in their quote-unquote awakened state of mind, whatever, you know? There's so much fucking more out there. Even in regards to natural law, the whole time I'm pretty much touching on rudimentary base shits. We need to build off of that and apply it so much more in our lives. But yeah. Still today, I question why the fuck I do what the fuck I do, even while I'm doing it. You know, <laughs> crazy. But uh, yeah, I've still maintained my dedication to this type of great work. You know, and uh, yeah, after doing what the fuck I've done and cultivated whatever, I feel like I haven't even been all that well recognized. Respected in these truth community groups, Facebook uh, groups, whatever, you know. Uh, it's like, fuck, you know. Uh, yeah, the the social media scroll fest where, you know, the memes, that's where it's at. You know, you just got to, you got to catch that goldfish span of attention. You know, just one or two, three seconds for people to look at it because they're not going to look at anything fucking else more for that much longer. Yeah, over the generalizing, you know, but uh, I don't know. I don't have luck on fucking Facebook. I don't know. I feel like I've been algorithmically fucked over for the past seven, eight years. But anyways. I never really refer to myself as a DJ, even though sometimes, yeah, I throw that title out there if you will just to you know not to have any kind of fucking ego attachment or you know appeal to that shit but just you know people can relate you know and they they like to you know yeah listen to new dj stuff especially in the truth realm what the fuck you know where the fuck is the fucking audience that's all in the truth you know i don't know i don't have people hitting me up uh all that much to like hey you want to you know, collaborate or can I use your stuff on a website? I've had a couple and I've been very, very grateful for that. And uh, it's really touching, you know, but it's just very fucking few and far between, you know. Well, yeah, I haven't done work for people and they didn't even give me any motherfucking credit on their goddamn fucking video. Yeah. Something else, you know, I didn't even charge any fucking money for that shit anyways. You know? But uh, yeah. I have done DJ stuff, actually. I had a gig in Paris, but just like virtual DJ, you know, I'm not a real fucking DJ. I'll say, I'm not a fucking DJ. <laughs> I can kind of claim it and I've done it before, but it's, that's not who I am. That's, you know, it's not even what I really fucking do with this. You know, it's, yeah, it's a little different with the mashup or whatever you know i don't have the best fucking tools i'm not a, any kind of prof professional i could say i'm an amateur dj whatever you know or just an artist you know whatever yeah honestly i don't give a fuck if i'm whack or people think i'm whack you know part of the reason i did this shit was to actually get pointed out like man that guy's got some dope song selections but the way he's going about it is fucking bunk let me fucking spin that record and fucking do that shit where, you know, it'd be more appealing. Yes, fucking do that, please. I've been waiting for eight fucking years, you know, honestly. And I, I'm not saying that out of spite. It's like, where the fuck are the fucking real DJs that are going to mix the music for the motherfucking movement, you know? I can't do it, especially not by myself. This has been a one-man fucking show the whole fucking time. Made a fucking penny off this shit. 
What the fuck kind of thanks have I gotten? Besides the very, you know, grateful people that have commented, you know, and like, I'm not negating anything that, you know, but it's just, in the totality, it's just, yeah, dropping new stuff like it ain't nothing, you know, and it leaves like it ain't shit, you know, sometimes, you know. I thought I'd just be keeping it real and, you know, just like, here you go, you know, I'm off on to the next one, right? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't trying to like, I wouldn't say like poison the well. That's not the phrase I was looking for, but just oversaturate shit, you know? Like uh, there comes a time when, hey man, you're like doing a little too much or, you know, putting out too much stuff. And, and I totally get that, you know? But, um, but yeah. I mean, music is music, you know? It's just, I'm at a point where I'm tired of living in a state of fucking utter slavery and that might sound of offended offensive to people that have had ancestors in the past that have been actual slaves physical slaves well i mean just take a look at, at the world around us you know we're financial slaves we're under this uh, uh you know scarcity based mind control time mind control government is mind control there's so many different types of mind control and if your mind is under control or your body is under some kind of control that's fucking slavery taxation you know great quote, quote by fred fred frederick douglas where it's like you know what percentage is it not you know theft or taxation or slavery you know when people are taking money from your you know, hard working earnings or whatever, you know? But yeah. Uh, when I really woke up on a vibratory level, frequency shift, you know? I was like, I don't have time to listen to anything else besides, you know, what the fuck is aligned to where we need to be in the world and, you know, exposing all the bullshit at the same time and, and knowledge of self and, and that higher learning consciousness and, and shit. I didn't have time to listen to any kind of materialistic bitch shit. Literally. None. Even today, really, you know? Fuck that shit. We got a fucking job to do, people, you know? Let's get with the fucking program. Let's overturn the fucking oligarchy and the draconian bullshit, you know? Fucking A. It takes a lot of time and consideration to really amalgamate or whatever all this stuff compiled and put it into a very unique album where I've mixed so many layers of, of shit, you know? And I pull from albums that I have. I literally bought albums. I've spent thousands of dollars on music in the past 20, 25 years of my life. I'm 37 years old, you know? Uh, yeah. The majority of people here in France, except for uh, the homie, Larry Matisse, you know? He's got hundreds of albums, man. Fuck. Yeah, dope. But, uh, fuck. <clears throat> Most people just don't buy music. Have you noticed that? Everyone's just listening to YouTube or, or they, sorry, they pay a little subscription to Spotify or this and that. I, mean, I hope artists actually get decent revenue from that, you know? But yeah. You're gonna listen to music on YouTube. Check out Audio Pharmacy. Honestly, it's a fucking crime. And I literally wept a few times. Well, <laughs> they did a beautiful live session, fresh for 2021, with a very sacred uh, prayer opening intro. And lo and behold, saw it on the uh, maybe 48 hours. 24 hours after it was uploaded, not even triple digit fucking views. I mean, something like that needs millions 
of views. You know. What the fuck? I mean, people like that are criminally slept on. It's unfucking real. And I'm over here complaining about, you know, the lack of viewership on my side. Yeah. I, oh, don't I feel like a dick? No, not really, because uh, we're all in the same boat, like I mentioned before. It's just, uh, yeah, that's why I've been trying to promote people like this, artists like this. They don't need my help, you know? I'm not trying to, I'm not on a crusade for anyone, you know? It's just, uh, it's, it's unbelievable to me that, you know, how unpopular we are. Basically, I'm not all pessimistic, you know. It's always here for reference, you know. I need to reference it more. Y'all need to re reference it more, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it is what it is, but, uh, yeah, there's always room for improvement, you know, and, all that shit, so. <laughs> Voila. Cheers. You know, I ain't trying to be moping and pouting and shit like that. You know, honestly. <clears throat> I'm very, very grateful for everyone that's stuck around and checked my stuff out. You know, however long you've been around for, thank you so much. All those that have, you know, given a like or commented and, you know, and this and that, that's really drives the force within me as well. So yeah, much love and power to y'all. Yeah, real talk. And yeah, more to come along, you know, I'm trying to evolve. I put off my whole entire life for this kind of stuff. Far too long. I really gotta do something with my life a little bit more in the physical realm, you know. I gotta be a little bit outside of the digital world a little bit more. Uh, trying to open up some kind of food truck, you know, I want to own a business, you know, I'm trying to do some big things in the virtual world and in the real world, you know, so it's, there's a lot on my plate, I'm trying to get a good balance, I've been overbalanced over on this YouTube stuff for <laughs> a long, long time, you know, and, uh, yeah, despite little breaks and this and that, it's just, it's always been like my go-to, it's always been you know good therapy as well for me as well but uh, I'm trying to um, branch off into different types of therapy kind of like like this kind of just you know talking dissertation you know shit like that you know but uh, yeah yeah more down the line for sure we're gonna have some solutions coming up pretty soon and uh, we're gonna try to figure out how to maneuver better throughout this matrix of minutia <laughs> Nerd, I want to say, in French, you know, shit, but, uh, cheers, cheers to y'all, thank you so much, um, if you're listening in right now, you know, much respect, yo, take care out there, shit ain't fucking, it ain't all good, it ain't, it ain't all gravy, and not even everyone has a fucking biscuit, you know, or a trisket, what is this, you know, <laughs> Peace. Out. And will we ever awaken your mind?